Here are nine reasons why Elon Musk could be Satoshi Nakamoto. First reason, it was the original vision of PayPal. Elon Musk co-founded PayPal with Peter Thiel and one of the visions of PayPal was to create a currency that was independent of the interference of these corrupt cartels of banks. Well, uh, many people don't know this, but the mission of PayPal was to create a, a global currency that was independent of interference by uh, these, these you know, corrupt cartels of banks and uh, governments that were uh, just, you know, debasing their currencies. And we, uh, uh, we succeeded at building something very economically very powerful, enabled many small businesses, we're super proud of it, but we, we never achieved the mission. Second, the ability to write production grade C and C++ software. According to a leading internet security programmer, Kaminsky, Satoshi was a world-class programmer of C++ when you analyze Bitcoin's code. According to Kaminsky, Satoshi understood programming, economics, and peer-to-peer -peer networking. Elon Musk is well known for his ability to write C++ code, as he wrote C++ for the original PayPal codebase, and as you can see in his tweet. Third, both wrote code that could be described as a monolith. Matt Coralio, a Bitcoin core developer, described the original Bitcoin codebase as a big monolith. Everything was in one file. The wallet, the signing, and the consensus was all written in one single file. Developers improve a lot the codebase and separate that big monolith. Ashley Vance, the author of one of the most famous Elon Musk's biographies, describes that for Zip2, what would become PayPal, Elon Musk wrote a lot of code that could be described as monolithic. Whenever the two companies merged together to become PayPal, a lot of the developers had to break it down into different parts. Four, both were in the same location in Van Nuys, Los Angeles. In one of the communications between Hal Finney and Satoshi, you could actually see the IP address that was assigned to Satoshi Nakamoto. That's because the original Bitcoin Alpha codebase would send the IP addresses together with other information whenever sending Bitcoin transactions. And one of the IP addresses was located in Van Nuys, Los Angeles. Elon Musk was also in Van Nuys, Los Angeles constantly, where he would land and take off one of his private jets called Falco Landing. That airport was close to one of his former five mansions in Los Angeles. Fifth, both Musk and Satoshi were described as nano-managers. In the case of Satoshi, one of the early developers, Hanies, would describe Satoshi as a nano-manager. He would treat him as a full-time employee, even though Hanies wasn't a full-time employee and would work on his spare time. Elon Musk is also known to be a nano-manager, and people describe him as being OCD, and he describes himself as such. He works 100 hours a week to make sure that things get done. 6. Elon Musk had time to write the Bitcoin program in 2007. As he describes in this video... So folks, how's it going? I'm busy with outer space right now. You yeah. guys got that covered? I, I, I spent about, I spent about two, two to three days a month on Tesla-related business, and almost all the rest of the time is on SpaceX. So SpaceX is very much my day-to-day my -day job. When he was working at Tesla and SpaceX, it seemed that he had some free time to write the Bitcoin Core program. Seventh, the language both used by Satoshi and Elon Musk are very similar. As you can see here, both of them use orders of magnitude everywhere. They also use porn guys and pedo guys. Eighth, they had both similar writing styles. They both added two spaces after a period. As you can see here in the correspondence of Satoshi Nakamoto and on emails and code that's written by Elon Musk. Nine, both had very specific knowledge of the Visa network. Satoshi, when describing how much the Visa network would process, and Elon Musk, when he was interviewed about Visa and MasterCard. Tenth and last, their similar attitude to public domain graphics. They had very similar attitudes towards public domain graphics. Satoshi mentioned about public domain graphics here in one of his correspondences, and Elon Musk made SpaceX photography public domain. That's all, there are a bunch of similarities between Elon Musk and Satoshi. So 
Elon Musk could be Satoshi Nakamoto. If you like this video, please watch this other video that I made. Thanks for watching. Bye.